Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we found the probability of finding the particle somewhere between L over 4 and L over 4 plus a small delta x. In this case, we made delta x to be 0.01L. And we found the answer to be 0.01032. And we also realized that as delta x became smaller, this, this 3, 2 at the end here would slowly become smaller, smaller, smaller. And in the limit, as delta x went to 0, the probability would be exactly 0.01. What we're going to do here is instead of taking the integral and evaluate it between L over 4 and L over 4 plus L over 100, we're going to now say that if delta x is sufficiently small, there's another way of finding the probability of finding a particle at a particular location. Now, of course, we're using this for a very simplistic example, a one-dimensional well, but you'll see in the future that this can be used for more complex models as well. To find the probability of finding it at a particular location, we can simply take the probability function and then multiplying it by delta x. Of course, as delta x gets very small, we'll get the exact value of that probability. You'll see in a moment how that works. So what we're going to do here is replace the probability function by, of course, the wave function squared. Again, in this case, since the wave function doesn't have a complex component in it, we can simply take the wave function squared. So the probability is going to be as follows. The probability is going to be equal to the probability function, which is this quantity right here, 2 over L, times the sine squared of N pi x over L, realizing again we're using n equals 1, we're going to calculate it for the innermost energy level or the lowest energy level. So that's the wave function squared multiplied times delta x. And in this case delta x, well we'll just call delta x And in this case, delta x was again going to be 0.01L. So we're going to multiply this time 0.01L. All right. Uh, we probably want to put brackets around that because this is, of course, not part of the angle. Now we multiply this times this, we get the following. We get P is equal to 0.02, because the L's cancel out, times the sine squared of n is going to be 1 and x has to be the location where we're interested in which is going to be L over 4. So n is 1, we have pi times L over 4 times L. So the angle now becomes that. The L's cancel out and now we have the sine squared of pi over 4. Now pi over 4 is 0 0.707 if we take the sine of that and when we square it, we get 0.5. So here we say that P is equal to 0 0.02 times 0 0.5, which 0 0.01. That will now be the probability at that particular location. So you can see that there's actually a, quite a very slick method to find the probability of finding the particle at any point along its path by simply taking the probability function and multiplying times a very small delta x. When delta x is very small, you can see that you get the same result that you would have had if you went ahead and taken the integral of that probability function and then evaluated between the two limits. And again, notice that as x goes to 0, this, this 3, 2 portion disappears and you end up with the exact same result that we got over there. So it's a really good method to find the probability anywhere along its path. And that's how it's done.